In V-Ray Next, we have now added a new metalness parameter to the standard V-Ray material to better support PBR workflows popular with game engines and texturing software such as Substance Painter. In short, objects can be considered either a metal or a non-metal, and in V-Ray Next, you can now specify if your material is a metal or not. While it has always been possible to create metallic materials in previous versions of V-Ray, using metalness, the glossy Fresnel will be calculated in a more physically accurate way. In addition, you can easily plug in texture maps exported from software such as Substance Painter and get the correct results. Let's now start an IPR to get a feel for our scene here, and then open the Hypershade and select the Owl material. Since I want to create a metal material here, we must set the metalness value to 1 and activate the Use Roughness checkbox. The Use Roughness checkbox simply inverts V-Ray's Reflection Glossiness parameter, allowing for compatibility with roughness texture maps exported from Substance. Next, we need to change our reflection to white and lower the Reflection Roughness value really low to create a very subtle polished look. On the Chaos Group blog website, we published an article discussing metalness, where you can learn a bit more about how this parameter works and also find a chart with physically accurate parameters for metals. This chart is available in our docs as well and contains values for the proper diffuse and reflection colors, which we can use to realistically emulate popular metals such as gold, copper, silver, and so on in our scene. For example, let's use the values for gold. I can simply enter them into the diffuse color for our material, and according to the chart, make sure our reflection glossiness is set all the way to white. Then, we just need to turn off Lock Fresnel IOR to Refraction IOR so we can input Gold's index of refraction value from the chart to create the correct Fresnel reflections. Now, we've created a physically accurate gold material using the new PBR Metalness workflow in V-Ray Next. As I mentioned earlier, the Metalness workflow also allows us to use PBR texture maps from applications such as Substance Painter to create even more customized physically based materials. To demonstrate, in Substance here, I have loaded in a textured owl. Let's export the textures so we can render them with V-Ray Next in Maya. We just need to make sure to change the configuration to PBR Metal Rough, and then check that we have all of our textures in the list, then click Export. Back in Maya, let's drag and drop our textures into the Hypershade, and then connect them to our owl material. In addition, we can leave the base color map in sRGB color space, but let's convert the roughness, metallic, and normal textures to raw color space. This will remove any gamma correction and properly display the original texture's information. PBR texture maps for metalness, roughness, and normals will typically look the most realistic this way. As for the normal map, let's also make sure to convert the map type to normal map in tangent space so that the normals display correctly. Finally, let's plug the textures into the OWL material's respective slots, and I'll let these each load a moment so you can see how each map contributes to the overall final result. Alright, now you've seen how we can use the new metalness parameter to create physically accurate metal materials. We can also import texture maps using PBR workflows and easily create stunning realistic renders using V-Ray Next.